Welcome back, everybody, to Super Mario 3D World. Today, after taking down World 3 in the last video, we're going to uh, be doing World 4. There seems to be a green star lock on that there castle. We'll, we'll see what is the haps with that once we get there. Also, this is greatest ledge of all time. Because it's it's so pointful. You, you, you get to see you get to see the place. And yeah. So let's start things off with Ant Trooper Hill. And we'll play as Toad here. Because why not? Let's see, this coins in here. Figures. There we go, get rid of those enemies there. You can even take out these spike tops with your, uh, cat attack. And that's always fun times had by all. And there's just coins up there. However, we do have a stamp. And we'll, we will make things easier by taking out these here enemies that are in our pathway. What is in here? I'm just curious. I'll just coins. And then green star number one is right up here. If you don't have, like, the cat suit, you just have to do the stuff the stuff way. Also, you can stand right here and get a view of the level. That green star there, I believe, is green star number three, because green star number two, as obvious as it may seem, it's in this pipe. If you don't have the cat suit, you just have to jump up along these things. And I have to find a good spot to do the climbing thing with the cat suit. But, uh, still pretty simple. Now we gotta be careful here. You gotta be careful to not accidentally the spikes. It is, it's very painful when you do accidentally the spikes. Okay, just keep on hopping and hopping up. And there's stuff below, but it's not really all that important now. And there's your gold flag. And we get three fireworks. That's fun. And there's that level down. We're up over 80 green stars. So now we move on to the next level over there. Not doing the slots because seriously. We called Piranha Creeper Creek. Let's go, Let's go Mario. Well, I'm trying to demonstrate that uh, these piranha plant things, you can actually move them more if you ground pound on them than you would if it was a normal sort of attack. Whether it be your cat attack or like a fire flower. I just need to... Good spot here. And there's the underground portion of the thing. you out of my way so that I can go up here. Okay, this... That's how you're supposed to do it without, uh... If you don't have the powers of the cat suit. I had, uh, the cat suit as a backup strat. Obviously. And most obvious second green star, it's right down here. 
I mean, come on. How could you not have guessed that? Secret here. And at the end of this here is the stamp. And we get to skip the stuff below. Because really, who wants to do underwater sections? Also, if we climb up here and go along this thing, we see another red pipe. That red pipe will take us straight to World 5. I am not going to take it, though. Because I'm doing 100%. Okay. Now, if I do this carefully, I should be able to just take out my enemies quite handily. And then, once I... Once we do the thing, we can do a thing. Jeez, that was close. Okay. So now we can get uh, this here green star without any... Without any real trouble, really. Without really any shenanigans to be had. Ooh. That is me dodging like a hen here. And this will take us to the end. Huzzah for that, I guess. And the gold flag. And three more fireworks. I just keep getting the fireworks luck all the time. Just all the luck. And it's a pipe stamp, how about that? So we get three more green stars. And we're gonna go all along this path and then have a mini-boss sort of thing. A mini-boss sort of type shape shenanigan. Called Brolder Blockade. I guess they're Boulder Brothers or something. Throw that in there, and then three more will show up. Ridiculously easy with the katsu. Like, seriously, it's kind of a joke. Now, this is an example of uh, me getting a 1, 3, or 6 at the end of a mini-boss thing, and you get no fireworks. So, that's what I was talking about when I was talking about that some parts ago. And now two levels are gonna open up. There's that one over there. That looks like Beat Block Galaxy or some shenanigan. And one that involves a lot of bouncing things. Let's go over here first. Beat Block Skyway. We're gonna go with the Mario Strat. And it's like, it's like Beat Block Galaxy, and there's Double Cherries, which sounds kind of crazy. Like the, like the insanity of these Double Cherries and freaking things here. Just gonna play it safe here. Alright, let's split up, gang. Get some coins. We all love it when we get some coinage. Beep, beep, boom. Get rid of that stupid boomerang, brother. Uh, I figured that might happen. Oh well. To get the stamp, I. I do believe that I just need to have uh, either three or four of me. I think it's four. So I'm just going to hang out here. There's another double cherry up ahead. And the place where... the place I need to go to get the stamp is also ahead. Okay, get this. There's your checkpoint, and let's ride this up 
get ourselves a stamp. Now, I don't really care that much about the number of clones I have. I just need to have uh, two survive for what's upcoming. I believe, I believe I need uh, t at least two for Green Star number three. And they'll all follow me in here, so... Let those go off the screen here. There's another double cherry, so we're up to five Cat Marios here. If you can believe that. And the more clones you have here, the easier this green star will be. Because, like, seriously. See, I was already running out of time, and I had five clones. I had five Marios. That was cute how they were all kind of in formation. Beep, beep. All right. I don't need all five of these to survive. Like I said, I just need two to survive. And I looks like I got four, so that's that's even better. So now I don't care about how many clones I have. There we go. Fun little stage and more fireworks. I don't even do this intentionally. What the hell? But anyway. It's gonna make a pathway along there. And it's like, wow, this is like really short world. And yeah, it kind of is. So let's go into Big Bounce Byway. As a Luigi here. That's the bounciness. Just going to keep on keeping on here. It's all this level's all about them bouncy things. All about lots of bouncy things. And going through bouncy things, because that's always fun. There's a springy thing there, but uh, one of these will give me a springboard. There we go. Wow. Oh my god. How did. How did what the hell? Okay, that was. That was just plain weird. I thought I. I was certain I was doomed there. Okay, if you don't have the cat suit. The, you would take the springboard here and bounce along those things. But as I guess is to be predicted, uh, the cat suit lets you skip a whole bunch of stuff. And we go into this here mystery box. We got to figure out which one is the spring. Ground pound on the spring, get ourselves a green star. Pretty simple. And now we have to be like super duper careful here. I mean, granted, it's a giant bouncy platform that we are riding on to, to a sort of thing. I think there might be a superstar in one of those blocks over there, but I really can't be bothered. Besides, you don't really need it, because you can just get that uh, their that their stamp rather handily without it. Ha <laughs> ha! 
there. I was like, okay, I'm going to intentionally not try to get fireworks, and it was... It was successful. So now... This goes to the other pathway to that level, and... It will uh, open up a warp pipe over to what is clearly a mystery house shenanigan. Let's go check it out. So here we have mystery house mad dash and yeah that is definitely 10 green stars. Um, given the name I'm gonna stick with Toad because he is the fastest character. So it's a mystery house mad dash we've got 10 seconds for each of these challenges here. So there's one. These are all, like, platforming related. So there's two. And here we gotta run away. Get rid of all the stuff that's in our way. Now we have to be careful of Spike Guy. There we go, real simple. And number five is dash across the thing, although you can, in fact, just jump all this garbage. That's what I like to do, anyway. And now we have a mad dash on the dash pad. Is there six? And this one is, oh, this is swinging platform McCain. I remember this. So that's seven. And number eight is Dash across and watch out for Goombas. I don't have really time to deal with you, really, because I just want the green star. Number nine is watch out for cat Goombas, and you can just jump across them again. And number ten is mad dash along these things here. Real easy with the cats that you could just, like, hit one of the spike guys. That was Mystery House Mad Dash. Not really that hard. Ten really quick and easy green stars. Which will bring us up over a hundred total. Alright, I want to... Check, because I feel like... Aha! I knew I'm like, there's something else here, I remember that. Fire Bros Hideout. There's like secret areas and such in the overworld that lead to uh, Fire Bros Hideouts and such. Which really is just challenges to defeat all the enemies and their variations of Hammer Brothers. Excellent. Not very hard and uh, again, it's a really fast green star. And I believe that will just make a toad house appear. However, it is a green star, so it's a good thing that uh, we picked it up. Oh, and it's uh, it's not a toad house. It's a uh, it's a Sprixy house. Let's get the let's get the stamp from there. Let's get ourselves the best stamp in the world. Another Sprixy. All right, now back to. Your regularly scheduled Mario platform programming, I guess. Just want to check something real quick. Yep, okay. We are on schedule to continue to Spike's Lost City. We'll play as Toad. Toad Strats for life, I guess. I guess it's somewhat true. He is really fast. That's the most obvious stamp ever. I mean, come on. You just you have to will your way into believing it's there. And all of a sudden, whoa, it's there! And it's like, what the hell? Okay. You're meant to avoid all of the spite things and stuff, but since there's no time limit on this particular challenge, you can't just take them all out before... Uh, having to do these, uh, 
through this shenanigan. So that's green star one. And I forget where green star two is. I, I remember I'm like, where is this green star two in practice? Because I was, I was kind of stupid, apparently. Whoa. Take it, take it easy there, Mr. Rolling Spike guy. Okay, I need to... Perhaps get rid of these Galoombas here. Is it up here? I forget, honestly. That's... That's always good when you forget. Or no, it's up there. What am I? What am I thinking? What indeed? That's just me having a memory lapse. Sorry about that. We're back to regularly scheduled grabbing of green stars. If we go all the way to the end here, there's green star too. I mean, come on, that was totally obvious. It's just like really, guy. You're gonna try everything else but that. You're gonna try everything else but the most obvious thing. Oh! How did that even happen? My perspective got all messed up or something. Okay, let's let's pay attention to what the hell we're even doing this time. Use the rings of get coins as a guide, I guess. So there's green star number three. Use our guide. Alright, gotta watch out for Dickens here. And just gonna keep cheesing these uh, goal flags here. Why? Because I can. Man, though, that just, like... Let's just jump off and, like, ha ignore any sense of self-preservation. That was... That was a great job there, guy. I am the best video game. But now it's time for Castle. And the requirement to get to this castle is 50 green stars, considering we have more than twice that, you know, whatever. Now it'd be time for Lava Rock Lair. Also known as Crazy Fun Time Shenanigans. Crazy fun time shenanigans with these brolders here. Need to take you. Put you actually on the pressure pad thing, or whatever you want to call that. And there's your first uh, green star. And he's just going to roll in the lava. That is called. That is what you would call no, no sense of self-preservation. Alright, you know... I want to have another cat suit. There we go. Just... That's like a safety bell. In case something really stupid happens. And considering what happened in the last level, I... I wouldn't put it past the thing. Also, we climb our way up here. There's your stamp. I mean, that was totally obvious. Most obvious thing ever. Okay, now we have this shenanigan here. There we go. 
That's real simple. There's like a harder version of that later on, I think. There we go. That is how you get that, uh, that particular green star. And I think there's like something here. Yeah, it's just a mushroom. Who cares? Who cares about that garbage, honestly? It's time to find a boss. And it's... This thing, I have no idea what its name is. So, forgive me for not, uh... Not, uh, you know... Going super de duper on my Mario knowledge here. Also, I gotta super watch out. Okay, that's two hits. But he is going to have to summon more brawlers if I'm if I am to get this third hit in. And then come towards me and then just run like run like thing that I am and boom. Very easy boss. Let's pick up all of our loose change here. Get our extra hundred seconds. And go over to that gold flag and save our orange haired Sprixie, I guess. I'm just going through all the colors. All the colors of the rainbow, I guess. You have any idea how long it took me to pick up that it's all the colors of the freaking rainbow? I am dumb. Oh, whatever. Get three more green stars. And our orange Sprixie will build us a clear pipe to World 5. So, hoorah for that. And that pipe that leads us to World 5, that is the place we will be going next time. See you then.